Hello. Thank you for coming tonight. My name is Madalena Dorsey-Rasio, and I'm going to tell you a story. But first, I need to apologize in advance, because I won't have time to stop and tell you later. I'm sorry if I make you cry. <laughs> now, let's start with a visual. Imagine you're in a tunnel. This tunnel is so long, and at the end, there's one tiny pinprick of light. That is the way I see time. My time at WVES was at one point from this point of view. Now, the end is feet away, and I can't stop myself from walking, because that is what time does to you. It forces you to walk in the tunnel until you reach the end. Now enough of that, back to the real story. I came to Wadua Valley from Colorado. That birthday, turning five years old, was the one birthday where all I wanted was to not get the presents, or the celebration, or even the cake. I knew that all that meant was I was getting closer to becoming a kindergartner. <laughs> Flash forward to kindergarten, when I was actually little. Like little in size, I know, right? What a concept. <laughs> I had a wonderful time in Mrs. McChesney's class and met all kinds of different fantastic classmates, four of which have stayed with me this entire time. Mrs. McChesney, you showed me through the door to this marvelous world called education. All I wanted was to learn and learn and learn some more. And you helped me as much as you could to achieve that goal. Leaving K2 again, I begged time to stop pushing me in the tunnel, but it refused. Third grade and fifth grade. I probably have never told you this, Mrs. Morris, but you scared me for perhaps the first half of my third grade year. <laughs> I couldn't for the life of you tell me why, but you did. Now I see how wrong I was and how you really wanted to help me. I had a great time with all my classmates in 35. And for that, I will always be grateful. But then that came to an end, and I had to move on to that scary classroom that always had that one big voice booming from the inside. <laughs> that classroom would be six through eight, and that voice would be Mr. Poole. <laughs> Again, time to contend as I begged it to stop. Well, when that summer flew by, I started in six through eight, and I realized how wonderful you actually are, Mr. Poole. You taught me to think harder and further than what at first popped into my head. There is one time where you made me show you what I meant when I said walk. I spent a good amount of time walking in a circle and trying to describe how I was walking. <laughs> Another new teacher, Miss Larson, came into the sixth through eight class. Sixth grade was her class, and it didn't take us long to realize how awesome she is. Even after sixth grade, there would be classes where we would watch CNN student news and have so many questions about current events and Ms. Larson would help us better understand what was happening. Mr. Poole finally decided in my sixth grade year that he really meant it when he said that he would retire. So then, Mr. Bounce came. Now, some of you may expect me to say something about DC. And I won't, not yet. <laughs> Mr. Bounce was always the one to make sure that everything was crystal clear in a lesson, no matter what. I also thank you, Mr. Bounce, for all the wonderful me memories you gave us on our week's trips. In D.C., yes, that would be getting us lost in the rain. <laughs> in Hidden Valley, that would be the long and extremely entertaining fight with the biggest wasp you had ever seen, <laughs> which was conveniently flying around in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> Aside from that, both Mr. Bounce and Ms. Larson have helped me grow so much academically, it's astounding. Thank you for that. And now here we are. There is so much to say, and so little time to say it. I have a couple more people who deserve my thanks. To my fellow classmates, all through the years, thank you for the great times and tough times we had. Even though sometimes I could go home and be extremely aggravated with one of you, I always realized how important you guys have been to my life, even if we don't talk all the time or hang out after school. Mrs. Hannigan, you showed us that there is more to something than just what you see. Whether that was a math problem or a political ad, you taught us to look further until we completely understood its origin. You were always there for anyone who needs your assistance. I'm so honored to be a part of your last eighth grade class. Mrs. Dodge and Donna Devlin Young, you gave me so much in terms of music, theater, and great time. Mrs. Dodge, I will never forget the laughs we had at lessons or how you always believed in me, even when I didn't. Donna, you pushed me from the beginning to do better, because I can always do better. You never settled for a mediocre job and always demanded our 110%. Now for the harder ones. Grandma and Grandpa, thank you for the countless summers where
where you have always made sure that I've had what I need and that I'm never bored. I always look forward to a board game or rearranging the furniture with you. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, you might not understand how much you've meant for me. Even when you aren't actually physically here, and even though we both always have crazy schedules and don't always get the time to talk, you've always been in my heart and I've always looked up to you and how determined you are. Mom, if you were my mom, you'd be my friend. We have so much in common, which sometimes ends in a fight, <laughs> but sometimes means so much, because I know there's someone who completely understands where I'm coming from. Dad, to say your character has rubbed off on me would somehow be an understatement. <laughs> your sense of humor has always made me laugh, and you've always pushed me to not only be myself, but my best self. You were always there, even in the beginning, when school was still a little scary. I'm so glad you've shown me the world from your point of view, and let me show you it from mine. Now, no one will ever be able to truly accept this thanks, but I thank everything that makes us who we are. And lastly, I thank the music, numbers, letters, shapes, colors, artists, competition, emotions, belief, movement, love, change, nature, knowledge, the universe, time, life, and death. You may not realize it, but these things, along with us and many other things, shape our world. Now the door, the page of this chapter and room of my life is coming to a close. I'm nearing the end of this tunnel. I have just finished my one and only K-8 graduation speech. What was once the present is now the past. But I will not beg time to stop, even if I will dearly miss Wadwell Valley and its little elementary school. Because I know it will always shake its head unless I ask it, as I do today, to lead me to new adventures and new people. Thank you.